Hi everyone, my name is Pam. I'm a health coach in Maluri. I'm also a clinical psychologist and a lecturer in IIUM. So I'm here to share with you a little bit about how to prepare your mind a bit better during and after pregnancy. So maybe let me just start by sharing with you that when you first got pregnant, I'm sure you can relate to this when I say that there must have been a lot of different kinds of emotions that you might have been experiencing. And I want to share with you that one of the main reasons for these different emotions is because of the surge of hormones that all of a sudden flooded your body. And these hormones are usually progesterone and estrogen. And during pregnancy, usually the first trimester and the last trimester are when these different kinds of mood swings and emotional you know, roller coaster can usually happen. And so I'm going to share with you in a while some five tips that can help you manage these emotions better. But not only during pregnancy, I really want to share with you that after pregnancy, after delivery is also a very important time for you to take care of your emotions and mental health. And the reason for this is because after delivery, all of a sudden you would experience this drop in the same hormones that suddenly increased at the beginning of pregnancy. So all of a sudden, after delivery, you're going to feel like the progesterone and the estrogen all of a sudden dropped. And then this can cause another round of, you know, adjustment of emotions. So usually women would experience something called baby blues, which usually lasts for about two weeks, whereby they have these, you know, feelings of irritability, anxiousness, or maybe difficulty sleeping, you know, low moods. But if you notice that you are experiencing these same low moods and emotions for more than two weeks, say for example, a month plus, and you're still feeling low, you still don't have appetite, you still can't sleep well, you don't have any mood to do anything positive or pleasurable anymore. It is safe to say that it might be time to seek professional help because it could be a risk factor or a good indication of a probable or possible onset of postnatal depression which we can definitely prevent with many different kinds of techniques. So let's get right to it. I'm going to share with you five top tips. It's very important for new moms to understand their mental health and emotions better is because sometimes certain emotions that you may experience during pregnancy and also after pregnancy can be a little bit overwhelming if it's not dealt with or managed properly. So that is why it's very important for you to learn how to prepare your mind and how to manage these emotions and thoughts in a better way. So I'm just going to share with you a little bit of example. If you see here, you can see that on the left, it talks about baby blues and on the right, it talks about postpartum depression. So actually, the left column talks about the common symptoms that new moms usually would go through. But when these symptoms are left untreated and become too overwhelming, there is a risk of these symptoms to then quickly turn into postpartum depression. And so it's very important for us to identify early symptoms and to quickly try to manage these symptoms before they become severe. Then if you look at the next slide over here, it talks about maternal stress in the baby's DNA. So it's very important for moms to really look after their health, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally, because the stress levels that you feel can release certain hormones, like for example, stress releases the hormone called cortisol that can affect your baby's hormones and also psychological functioning, not only for the present moment, but also it can determine their psychological well-being when they become adults later. Therefore, let's dive right into how to prepare your mind in a better way. So the first tip that I'm going to be sharing with you, it's called meditation and visualization. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the term visualization. So let me just share with you a little bit about why it's important. So visualization has really got to do with being based on the theory called the psychoneuromuscular theory, whereby it talks about how our thoughts that we imagine are encoded in our brain. And our brain does not know how to differentiate between an imagined thought 
or an actual memory that has occurred in our life. And that is why it's so important because our brain does certain encoding to the thoughts that we put into it. And when we imagine certain happenings and we kind of put an emotion to the thought that we imagine, it becomes so real in our mind. And it says that when our brain captures something as being so real, there is a very high likelihood of us performing an action and certain kind of actions based on that thought. And so it becomes a very high likelihood of us actualizing that thought in our life. And so let's together do a little bit of a visualization activity together in order to help positive things occur in your life. So if I can just ask you to, together with me, just close your eyes for a moment and now slowly try to imagine your whole pregnancy period of time. Now try to visualize together with me that you're going through this entire period of time in a very peaceful and calm manner. Imagine every single day being peaceful and calm. Imagine yourself smiling. Just see yourself smiling every day as you wake up every morning and go towards more and more closer towards the due date of your delivery. See yourself going through each day of your pregnancy with a renewed mind and hope, with joy and with being even stronger to face every day the symptoms and the different kinds of emotions and sensations that you feel that every day as your child is growing you're also growing even more closer to your child and you're becoming even more stronger now imagine that the day that you've been waiting for has finally arrived imagine that all your bags are packed and together your husband and you are heading to the hospital and you see a doctor there waiting and the nurses are there and they're all smiling at you and you see yourself smiling and now the time that you have been waiting for has arrived and now you are ready to welcome the birth of your baby imagine yourself at that moment being strong and brave and being at peace and now finally you can feel your cervix dilating and you can feel the whole delivery process happening. Imagine the whole process happening in a very peaceful, comfortable and at ease way. You are able to endure through and go through every sensation successfully and well with ease and comfort. And now finally you are able to see the face of your child, your son or daughter for the very first time and you feel this wonderful burst of emotions and you are joyful and at ease and at peace you feel this wonderful streams of, of tears flowing down your cheeks and you turn to look at your husband and you now know that you are a family you are complete you are now parents you are ready to embark on this new journey of parenthood and you will now become such wonderful parents and you have so much love to give to this child. And if you can do this every day before you sleep, there is a very high likelihood of this actually happening and you actually going through this process successfully, just as you imagined. Now to the next tip that I'm going to share with you. And this is a very wonderful tip. It's called reframing unhelpful thoughts. It has a lot to do with helping you prepare your mind and being mentally strong. One thing that we can really acknowledge here is that our thoughts create emotions and our emotions have a lot to do with how we respond and react to everyday situations and life events. And so what it says here on reframing is that if we can look at things in a different way, we can actually shape the way we feel about things. And that, in turn, will make a difference on the way we respond to things. Say, for example, you send a text to someone and they take a really long time to reply to you. And it, your initial thought might sometimes be, oh, they don't care about you or they don't have time for you or you're not important. But say, for example, if we can look at this scenario in a different way, perhaps they were busy 
perhaps they are not well or perhaps they're really occupied right now or they're really stressed in their life right now and they really haven't gotten time to really check their message or they haven't gotten time to really try to reply in a way that they really wanted to and so when we think about this in a different way and try to give it the benefit of the doubt we can look at it in a very different way and we will start to perceive the situation in an alternative way and when we do this we will find that our emotions change and our behaviors will follow suit and we will respond respond in a more positive and constructive manner so this is one tip I'd really like to invite you to sh to kind of implement in your life today. So try to implement this the next time you find yourself having thoughts that are going all over the place or maybe having thoughts that are negative. The next tip that I'd like to share with you is called deep abdominal breathing. So this one is a very nice technique for you to implement whenever you're feeling a little bit down or stressed or anxious about, say for example, the due date approaching near. It's very interesting and very simple to implement. So what I'd like you to do right now is place your hands on your belly and try to take a very deep breath while at the same time imagining as if there was a balloon in your belly. And now imagine that balloon expanding as you inhale for five counts. So inhale deeply, feel your belly expanding or the balloon expanding for about five seconds. Now hold this for about five seconds. And now slowly exhale out for five counts. Try again, inhale for five seconds, feel your belly moving outward as it expands with, with air and feel your lungs filling with air. Now hold this for five seconds. The reason we hold is because we're trying to let this oxygen that you have now inhaled in travel to different parts of your body. And now slowly exhale for about five seconds and exhale out slowly. This is the time that you will feel your pulse slowly slowing down and you'll feel your physiological response becoming calmer. As you do this for about a minute, you'll feel your entire body becoming calmer. You will improve and increase the chi in your body and you'll actually improve your immune system as well, especially during this time that we're facing. Let me now bring you to another interesting tip that is called laughter therapy. So this tip, I'm sure you've heard of this before, whereby laughter is the best medicine. So the reason they always say this is because when we laugh or have positive emotions in our body, our body releases this very good feel-good hormone called endorphins. And the reason why endorphins is so important for us is because endorphins helps calm our entire senses and our body and gives this surge of positive emotions throughout our entire body. And this puts us in a very good mood and helps us feel instant calm and peace. And so I'd like you to have a daily dosage of, say for example, one hour of watching a comedy on Netflix. Choose any comedy you like. I like going for Modern Family or Friends or anything that you like and just find yourself laughing and just you know try to put an effort to laugh out loud to, to those jokes and also spend time with friends and family and your partner you know really laugh out loud think about positive times talk about jokes and really enjoy this time together now i'd like to f share with you the final tip here it's called positive self-affirmation and self-talk you know i really want to share with you why this is so important the power of words can really do so much to us, seriously. The things that we say to people can have a very big impact on them. And imagine how, how much bigger the impact can be based on the things that we say to our own selves. Can you try to think of a time when someone said something to you in the past, say an early memory of you hearing a very hurtful remark spoken against you? And now, can I ask you to think of a time when someone spoke some very wonderful words to you in the past and it really uplifted you so, so much? Can you try to think about how you felt during that time and what impact it had on your life? 
So that is why words can go a really long way in our life. I would like you to start today just to every morning face the mirror or maybe you can just say it to yourself before you sleep even. Say something positive and kind to yourself. Say to yourself, for example, I got this. I can do this. I'm going to be a great mom. I am a wonderful wife, a wonderful mom, and a wonderful woman. I'm going to be okay. My husband and me will go through this together. And even husbands, you can also say this about yourself. And I'd really like for you and your husband to say something positive to each other. Tell each other something you like about each other. Say something that you can, even at this moment, or at the end of this video, message each other something positive, a word of encouragement. You can start by saying, I love it when you... Okay, here's where you fill in the blanks. So this is a very powerful technique that can really go a very long way. Alright everyone, so those were the common five techniques that you can use to help you prepare your mind better. So, you know, if you ever need any help, please feel free to reach out to a professional if it becomes too overwhelming for you. And you can also reach out to me at Naluri. And please remember that it's okay to need help and it's okay to be vulnerable. There's nothing wrong with that and there's no one here that is perfect at life. So at the end of the day, we're all going through our own journey and it's really important for you to try to get help if you need some assistance getting through your feelings, getting through your thoughts and getting through this whole journey. So thank you so much everyone. I hope you found that helpful to you. Thank you.